Morning guys, welcome to Super Met. So today I am on the VSET 8 and uh, we're taking it out for a quick ride. Gonna see what it's all about. I'm hoping the audio is much better because we've been having problems with audio. And we'll have a look at the scooter, see how she handles and we'll go from there. So just cruising along, no problem at all with it. Feels comfortable. It's got a bit of given suspension, which is nice. We'll try opening her up a little bit. Just press the brakes. Back brake works well. Feels quite comfy. Easy to um, easy to move around. Lean into the corners, no problems at all. We'll take it over here. I mean, this has got smaller wheels on it than, say, the 10X um, or the, um, the big brother to this, the 9 or the 10, but it still feels pretty comfortable. Now, I've got a, um, I've got a full battery. We'll go down here and then we'll cross over and we'll hop out on the other end, I think. I think this might be better. There's a guy on a bicycle over there. Okay, let's, let's go over here. I think let's stick this in the park for a second and see how um, see how we get along. And I've got indicators as well, which is pretty pretty cool. So let's go let's go in here. There's a small pavement over here, I think, if I remember rightly, because this is where I came with the, uh, the Nami E. We can go up here. Yes, yeah, so I'm noting it's definitely slower when you're, you're going up the incline. Okay, now, obviously, I have a bit of a lack of suspension on this machine. But let's just see how she feels. And Yeah, not very fast on here at all. This is a road scooter, it's a commuter scooter. She handles quite well. Don't sort of have any issues with the handling on it at all. But not very fast. So I am in third, so I'm in the top gear, and I'm doing 12, 13 miles an hour. I mean, I'm having to sort of push and push and push. Okay, so let's get her back on the road again, because this is just, this is no fun. Okay, so back on tarmac. Test those brakes. Not as good because they're not uh, they're not hydraulic. These are cable operated, like on a bicycle. Okay, and then we can head back out over here. Let's try for flat out. Sorry, it's a bit bumpy, but that is the nature of this road. Okay, so that is 25, absolute flat out. 26, 25. Oh, and I've got cruise control working. That's 26 with cruise. Just one dab of the brake and the cruise control turns off. Okay, let's try it down here. Quite good for the feet. Deck is wide enough. Okay, so we are flat out. Okay, flat out, hit a bump. Yeah, suspension works okay. I mean, you haven't got any sort of dampers. You've just got a couple of springs on this. But they, they're quite tightly wound. They seem to work okay. Yeah, 25 is, is top whack on this one with a full charge. You know, 25 will get you somewhere, won't it? And this is so easy to fold up. That is the beauty of this scooter. You can just take it to the underground station and then just fold it. And the cruise control is quite a nice feature, I do like it. 
Let's go off down here. Feels wide enough as well. I haven't got a lot of wobble. Yeah, nothing wrong with this. It's a good machine. Okay, let's keep going. We'll go down here. I'm learning the streets of East London. There's some nice little roads around here, quite pretty little streets. See, some people are courteous. Had to be a white van driver. <laughs> so here is the V set. It's quite a nice package. So this is a uh, single motor. Rear drum brake. Deck's nice, I like it in this sort of camo camo material. Easy folding mechanism again, so you've got this um, this this brilliant mechanism, so you can just pull it open, fold it down, carry it very, very easily. The stem also drops here, so you can pull this lever out here, drop the stem, just makes it a bit smaller to carry, and then also the handlebars as well, unscrew, and then you can, you can pull those and fold them down. Here's the RFID reader, um, and if we turn it off here, you can see it's gone into the off position. If I switch it back on, it turns on, but then it says card. So what you need to do is you get your VSET card and you put it onto the RFID reader just here, and then you can see it's come all, all back up and we're fully charged. So it's got light on the front. So this is a full light bar down the front, rear spring suspension, which I did feel as I was jumping over the bumps. And you've got it on the front as well. Nice little mud guards. They're quite solid. They're not, they don't feel you know, they don't feel cheap and nasty. You have got a um, pumpable pneumatic tyre, which is great, with just a standard Schrader valve in there. Um, obviously, wheels are a bit smaller, but I think compared to that one over there, uh, the Xiaomi 365, this is a different ilk of machine. The 365 feels quite plasticky. This is, this is solid, this is metal. So this has been actually extruded and it's really, really solid. I mean, weight-wise, um, it's not heavy. I need to get the actual stats, which I will put up on the screen, but it's not too heavy at all. Um, it just feels good and solid. It feels like, um, you know, it's been screwed together properly. It feels, and it's, you know, somebody's given this a tough old time. It's been around a few corners looking at this. But I do like this folding mechanism. I think it's a really cool mechanism. Back over. And manoeuvring. I mean, yeah, it's fine. If I follow this, uh, follow this line here, there's no no issue with manoeuvring whatsoever. Just want to slip on this gravel. Yeah, it feels fine. Pretty comfy. Let's go back up here. I think we'll take a side road and let's go along here. See how it acts. This very small incline here. You can probably see nothing too uh, too much we are in London after all but let's see what it's doing 24 25 so it will max out on here and obviously you've only got the one motor operate operating because you don't have two motors if you're going to be doing more hills definitely I'd say go for the dual motor unit Okay, let's take a look at these uh, these indicators because these are cool. There you go. So you can see these flashing away. So they're proper indicators. They're a bit low, but it's a hell of a start from a manufacturer. This is standard. They turn off after a number of seconds. So in a minute, that will actually cancel itself out like that. The way I turned it on was just here. There's this button, and you can just rocker this down. So you press that, pull that side, and then on the other one, 
you again you can just rock it on the other side and it turns on the other side for you and then it's also going on the front. You can see down there, but they're pretty bright. So what do I think to the VSET 8? You know, for the money, I think the VSET 8 is fantastic. Um, I was reaching 26 miles an hour on it, no problem at all. Suspension is perfectly adequate. I mean, it isn't um, obviously um, hydraulic or air. It is uh, a spring, um, but spring front and back um, with pneumatic tires, it's a perfectly comfortable ride. Um, I found I could rest my foot on the backrest or on the front plate. I could move my front foot around a little bit. Um, I, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with it. I also like the colors. I think um, the color of it is great. Um, and I like the RFID reader, which the, you know the the 10X Zero just doesn't have. Indicators are a massive benefit, and I'm hoping we see that on all scooters from now on. Um, and also the folding mechanism; <clears throat> it's a great mechanism, works really, really well. And I think um, it would really benefit somebody that is a commuter that needs to go on a train or, or a tram or the DLR. Um, they can actually fold this thing up into a sensible size and they can utilize it with no issues whatsoever. But it will also haul around somebody that is really, I would say, probably 90 kilos comfortably at 25, 26 miles an hour after a bit of a start. So it's not the quickest off the mark, but it's perfectly fast enough to keep up with traffic and the quality feels exceptional it's solid it's made from metal and the bumpers and the um the mud guards feel really strong they're not rattling i wasn't getting lots of rattles and, and noises off it when i was using it um and the other thing i really like is the stem you can adjust the stem on it now some people like it some won't there's a little bit of flex in it but you get used to it after a minute or two um, it feels a bit different to the Zero, and it will feel very different to some of the new brands coming out. Um, but they're much larger, much more expensive scooters. So price point is good. So I suggest um, get over to PET, based in Leighton, and um, come and take it out for a spin. Have a go on it. They'll let you take it off, give you a helmet, and they'll set you up. And then um, the next batch of these are coming in in June. So if it's any good, get your name down. You pay a 50% deposit and away you go. I think it's a highly recommended scooter and it's very high up the commuter list. <laughs>